What's up guys, we're back here on Black Ops Cold War. We already have the nail gun dark matter, we have the MG82 dark matter, and now it's time to get the C. 58 dark matter now if you don't know the c58 is the new assault rifle added into cold war in this new season 4 update uh, i have not used it at all yet as you can see it is still level one with no experience on it so you guys get to see my first game with the gun my initial thoughts and reactions to it then after that i'm gonna go ahead and grind it all the way to gold and then i'll give you guys my opinion on the gun if it's good or not and how tough the grind was so with all that being said let's go ahead and hop into a game all right so here's what the c58 looks like in game uh it's kind of like a, a fal or at least that's what it reminds me of. But they did throw us into a hard point game, so we'll have plenty of time to try out this gun. Attachments or not, we can kind of see how it does on, on a base level. So it looks like it starts out with a 20 round mag default. So you can only really go up from there. Now I'm really hoping this is good. So far, nail gun is decent. Uh, definitely way better in hardcore than it is in core. The MG82. Very good gun. Uh, Raven tweeted out that it is getting a nerf soon in Warzone. I don't know. I don't know if they, they'll be nerfing it in Cold War as well, but it's always a possibility. So hopefully this is right in between the two and it's just good. Not too crazy good. Not too crazy bad. I just need a gun that can compete. Now let's see if I can get a clean kill on somebody. There's one. Now the iron sights on it. A little weird. Not sure if I like them or not, but not bad. Just a little different. Ooh, barely sneaking away with these kills. So far, doesn't seem to have the best time to kill, but I am more of a hardcore player. It's core. And we also have no attachments on it, so we can't really say too much about the weapon. But this is my first game with it. I feel like the more that I get used to it, the better I'll think it is. So we, j we just need to get something going here. Oh, almost caught him with a tomahawk as he was peeking around the corner. That's a nice double. And we lost it. Let's we'll see if they try to come up the ladder here. Actually, I'll give them a tomahawk. Ooh, almost got him with it too. Holy shit. So far, not too impressed with the gun. It's very early to give a full opinion on the weapon, considering this is my first game. But it doesn't seem too crazy to me. But I, I can see its potential. It's definitely going to be way better with attachments on it. So we just got to, you know, wait it out. Ooh. We'll take a kill right before we get blown up. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, definitely got way out TTK'd there by that AK-74U. Dang, and even the FFAR. I don't think I got first shot on that, but he still mowed me down pretty quick. Jeez, we're, we're barely sneaking through these kills. We're definitely going to need to put this armor in. That did not help at all. This dude had the new score streak, the hand cannon. Absolutely eviscerated me. I think it's a one-shot kill regardless. All right, we've been getting dominated too much this game. Haven't really put up any kills on the board. So it's time to change that. I think I might, I'm about to die right now. Hold on, let me reload. All right, don't stun me. That's not fair. Oh, and you're behind me now? When that happened? All right, now I'm serious. Now it's time to go in. And he's behind me again. All right, this time's different. Nobody's getting through me. Nobody's killing me. It's gonna be nothing but tyranny from me and this weapon. There's our first victim. Barely survived it. Let's go see how they're doing underground here. Oh, that stun really fucked me up. Get the Tommy. No. There we go. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. That's a quick bloodthirsty. We take those. Definitely going to need armor. All right, who's next? Nope, that's a war machine. Going upstairs. Let's sneak in behind him. Let me reload. Oh, let's go. Hey, we already got a camo for it. 25 kills with it this game? That's not bad. And we're dead. Dang, people really tanking shots from this. It's definitely going to need a damage buff. I think some of the barrels can remedy that. But a default, this thing is not that great. Uh, I can definitely see its potential, but attachments are necessary for this thing. Probably a demon in hardcore though. She almost hopped on the treadmill, turned around, and killed me. After I had like five shots in her. That's ridiculous. But we're finishing it. 26 and 25. Didn't go negative. Didn't go even. Still positive. Even if it is by one kill. Uh, we did get a camo in our first game. But overall opinion on the weapon. 
after one game. Very like mid-level mediocre. But I'm gonna go ahead and grind this weapon out and get it gold and I'll see you guys when we do. gotta be it let's go all right so we did get the c58 dark matter and honestly i had to sleep on this gun i didn't know what my opinion was on it and now that i've had time to think about it i don't have an opinion on this gun it, it's kind of like the the agnostic episode of south park like if you were to ask me if this gun's good or not there's no way i could tell you sometimes i feel like i'm shredding with it other times i feel like it, it's lacking it's definitely not the best ar but it's definitely not the worst ar it, it's like ditto's face is it smiling is it not smiling i don't know it's like dr pepper what fucking flavor is this it's like fully automatic but as slow as fully automatic can be like the, my operator doesn't even know if she should hang on to the grip or not like look at that she's just sitting there fingers out even the grind for this gun felt weird like it, it didn't take very long it took me about like two and a half three hours but it still felt like a climb the whole time usually you get into a flow and you start like breaking camos out but it was always just like chugging along and for these camos obviously kills behind cover it took the longest to do but for whatever reason headshots got done just one game before I got my kills behind cover done. So overall, very, very weird gun. I don't know what's going on with this. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a game and see how it does in core and see what dark matter looks like on it. Also, free bundle. Let's go grab that. Stroke my cactus. All right, this is what the C58 looks like in game with dark matter. Honestly, the coverage is also... Eh, like, I don't know what to think about it. it. It seems good, but there's a whole missing portion right here by the trigger. I don't know what's going on with this gun. And I feel like I've tried like so many builds with it and I still can't decide if it's good or not. Like sometimes I'll feel like it's working well. It has a decent time to kill. And then other times it feels like it's doing nothing. There we go. Get a nice little two piece. So I've been changing my build around a lot with this thing. I have like the task force barrel on. I think I have like the agency grip, uh, the mill stop. I think this is like the micro reflex or something with the hip fire laser and the first drum mag because it doesn't hurt ADS. But this gun feels slow, but is not like insanely slow i have never used a weirder gun than this and then i also i've been putting pulls up on the community tab on youtube i don't know how many of you guys see those but those of you that have seen them i've also been getting mixed reviews from some people have said oh like this gun is good with like the right build and everything conveniently those people never leave what the right build is actually i think i found it but then people were also saying oh this gun's kind of nice in warzone and then people were also saying the ground loot one is awful. So it could just be the weird attachments they put on the ground loot or this gun is just like an enigma. <laughs> it's so, so strange. Like this FAL knockoff, I have to stay far back with, but also play close up. It's, it's the most two-sided weapon I've ever seen in my life. But we're honestly <laughs> like comparing this so what I did with the needle gun and everything, we're not doing that bad with this gun. Like, usually with guns, 
you can kind of tell how they are no matter what mode you're playing in. Mainly, I'll, I'll start these videos in core, go grind it out in hardcore because it's faster, and then come back to core like this. But I cannot tell which mode it's better than. Usually, like, all guns are better in hardcore, but it still felt like it's fire rate, movement speed, and all that weren't a good enough trade-off to go into hardcore with it. Oh, I just had to pull out the needle gun on that guy really quick. Well, honestly, like, let me know if you guys have this gun and you've worked on it and you've, like, grinded on it. Grinded on it, Jesus. If you've grinded this weapon, like, let me know what you think about it because I'm just so perplexed. Also, if you didn't know, there's a resupply bin in here now, making this place an even better spot to camp. Oh, let's go. And let's go to bed. I just bounced it off his head. Get the fuck out of the way. Try to Tommy some people. I think now that I've finally gotten to Dark Matter, I'm starting to see like the potential on this gun. Like it's just now all clicking. So after this game, I'll show you guys my build for it because I honestly think this might be the best one. But I will warn you, this build kind of does require gunfighter. I'm sure you can find a way to make it with less attachments. I honestly feel like it, it kind of needs gunfighter. Ooh, almost got him with that. No! Oh my god, he almost just shanked me. That was like real panic. Oh my, he keeps getting so close to me without actually shanking me. I'm barely sticking it out. 48 and 34. Not a crazy stat line, but not a bad one. <laughs> it's literally just like this gun. But I think on our last game with it, we finally found the right build. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you guys as soon as we hop out of here. All right, this is the build I ended up using. Again, it is a gunfighter build. So you can get those extra attachments. But Microflex LED, Infantry Compensator, Task Force Barrel, Steady Aim Laser, Field Agent Grip, 35 Round Drum, Speed Tape and the Raider stock. Now, I think that build works pretty well, at least in core for the one game I used it. Maybe it was just a lucky game. But now that we have Dark Matter on all these new season four weapons, I will be going for Dark Aether on them. Uh, I've, I've seen your comments asking for it and we will be going back to zombies. I haven't forgotten about it. I just wanted to get Dark Matter out of the way. But now it's time to get every gun in the game, Dark Aether. There are a bunch of DLC weapons that I don't have yet. So we will be going back into zombies and getting those done uh, sometime here in the future. <laughs> Maybe give me like a day or two. I've been playing multiplayer nonstop since this update came out. But again, this gun, no idea if it's good or not. But with all that being said, uh, I think that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, leave a like on it. You didn't, you don't. Dislike. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Also, be on the lookout. In, in the next few videos, I think we're going to be making our Discord public. So if you're interested in that, eyes peeled. Goodbye.